in the last video we have covered some basics of how to test asynchronous calls in this video we'll be covering how to test user triggered events let's first start by creating a note form spec file so in our note form component we'll create a new file and we'll paste this boilerplate code here and we'll recall this note form Great, so in our note form com component, if you want to have a fresh idea, let's just first test the create functionality and then we'll test the update functionality. So in the create functionality, let's first try to wrap this inside another describe block to have another additional level of division, which will be for note form create. And here we'll have all the assertions related to create. So the first test should be about whether the inputs are being rendered properly. So it should render the inputs properly. And we should expect, we should first call the render, and change this to node form. And if, let me see if we expect any sort of props. So we do expect props. Um, in the form of match so let's have something like params id is null actually let's add the id dynamically and uh, yeah we should expect it dynamically and actually by default it will be null now let's add some basic assertions we will expect that we'll have two inputs. Right? So we have two inputs, one for the title and the description. And um, let's just copy this part out. And then we can see that we have two form groups. And inside the form groups, we have title and description. So let's also assert that. So in the dot form group class, we expect that at zero at the first block the text to contain title same goes for this let's copy this out for the description great so this should work now let's give it a run awesome so our inputs are being rendered properly now let's dig a bit deeper and see how it how we would test a user triggered event so for example if you're typing a title or if you're typing a description if if that thing is working properly or not so let's assert that and we'll assert that it should allow creating a node so first let's find the first input dig deeper by narrowing it down like so and then in that input let's simulate an event and we'll simulate the change event, which is the on change event that we always um, trigger whenever we write type something. And we have the event as the parameter. So as you can see in this function, we had two things. We were using the event.target.name and event.target.value. So let's just complete this object. Event.target, we have the name, which is the title and the value which is new note. So let's just give a dummy value for now. Same goes for description, but this will be in the second block. So we'll put the second block and this will be description. Right. And then let's, um, let's assert, well, let's again simulate another event, which is the button click. So the submit button click. So wrapper.find button. Now we have two buttons in our DOM. So I have to choose the second button, which is the button that is the save button. So this is the second button. We can also narrow it down using .btn primary. So let's narrow it down like so. Okay, now let's simulate the click event. And click event doesn't need anything in the event for now. Okay, now we'll also trigger an wrapper.update because whenever this is done, we'll trigger an asynchronous call. And um, let's add the done here and we'll expect that note service dot create should to have been called with 
and this is the object that we will assert this to be called with which is the title and this will have the new node which will have this lorem ipsum and we'll add the mock here which will resolve to nothing so the node service dot create will just resolve nothing because we're not using the response in any way i've just removed the list mock and then just replaced it with the create mock which will resolve it to an empty object because we don't actually need anything and once this is done i expect the done to be called so that we can move on to the next test instead of just blocking this now let's see if this works properly so we're getting an error here cannot read property push of undefined this is happening probably because we have this dot props dot history dot push but we don't have to actually we didn't actually initialize the history in the prop so let's just do that so let's add a history and this will be an array so that um, the, the it gets pushed properly so let's just call this again great so now it's running the test properly Cool, so now that we have done writing the create function, create tests, let's add another block for the update test. And this will be pretty similar as well. We don't need any um, anything for this because it should, actually we do, we need to assert that once we have supplied it with an ID, we are fetching the correct node. So let's add an ID of uh, node ID. So this will be the note ID given. And uh, since we have a note ID, let's add a mock for the get and the update. So for the update, it will be simple because then also we're not using any, um, any response. But for the get, we expect a response of title. And this will be one and description, which will be no some random description. So we have mocked the get as well. Now, when we um, assert that this is being rendered properly, we are going to assert that it has a value of um, the title. So the, the input should have a value. So we are expecting that this input will have the value prop populated. So let's assert that properly in our test. So we expect, expect the um, input dot props, well, just prop which will be value to equal note one. And same goes for the description. And this will be, and um, let's exclude this test for now and run if this is working properly or not. Oh, right. So basically since this is an asynchronous call, we will have done here and then we're going to expect this after we call wrapper.update and we need to um, enclose this inside actually just enclose this part inside a set timeout block and fix the indentation Great, so it is working properly and this is just the excluded test. That's why it's giving this blue um, highlight. But yeah, so this works properly now. Now we are going to test if this allows update the, updating the node. So since we have an ID and this is the existing value, note one and some random description, let's just change the value to this new note and lorem ipsum. It doesn't matter because we're just giving a random value. And here, instead of create, it will be update that will be called. So this gets called with two arguments. So we have to write the note ID here as well. And um, I have to add this note ID here. Right, so let's check this out. Amazing, so we have successfully completed our whole note form test. So we actually had just two main components, which is the home and note form. And we have identified how to write unit tests for uh, asynchronous tests, for normal static assertions, or even just user triggered events. Well, that actually concludes our series for learning React.js basics. I hope this was a very informative and educational tutorial and uh, see you in the next video.